life. Thank you for the privilege of being in the land of the living. Wherever you are, let's get connected and let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Let's give him worship. Let's give him adoration. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be honored. Father, thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You are worthy to be prayed. Oh, Father, we thank you. Garo sheke tele kaprado varuzon pati kalaza itoba di kadingo shapradia. We give you praise, Lord. Let someone encounter you today. Let someone experience you like never before. Iko pata di zopradia. Jakote ke farati zopradia. Iko pate ni ano sombri katanazava. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Father. Isabel Koshadia, Gabarado Zepe Nakatandazo, Ella Topra da Gavatolo Bragadaza, Isha Gavan, Isoprekete Bahada, Ella Gede Brodo Zopranda Gadizo Paragadaga, Halle de Shekele Prado Varo Sopre Gadana Hazia. Inka dele gede shaban, roga de vente ni aka sopra de gadazana. We give you praise, we give you worship, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Thank you a million times. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Very sharp, I'm going to get into that before we get into worship. Psalm 147. It's going to be our text for tonight, Psalm 147. Psalm 147, verse number 7. Psalm 147, verse number 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise to the hymn unto our God. That's right. Verse 8. Who covereth the heavens with cloud? Who prepareth rain for the earth? Who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains? I will take verse 8 again. Who covereth the heavens with clouds? Who prepareth rain for the earth? Who maketh grass? To grow upon the mountains. If you check that verse 8, there are three dimensions of God. Three dimensions of God that was mentioned. Three things that God has, is able to do at all times. Three things. Three things. It is very clear there. The first one is who covered the heavens with the cloud. The second thing, who prepared rain for the earth? And the third one is, who make it grass to grow upon the earth? I am going to pick the third one, which is going to be the anchor for the message tonight. Who make it grass to grow upon the earth? The God that make it grass to grow upon the mountains. That's what we are handling. The God that make it grass to grow upon the mountains. The God we serve is the God that makes grass to grow upon the mountains. Now if you check very clear that the mountain is not a soft soil for anything to grow. The mountain is not a soft soil for anything to germinate. But the Bible describes that the God we serve is the God that makes things to grow on the mountain. If you are aware, mountain is a very strong and heavy thing. Mountain is very strong and hard. It is impossible for anything to grow on the mountain. Very impossible. But the Bible says that the God we serve is the God that maketh the grass to grow upon the mountain. On the mountain. The grass to grow upon the mountain. What is the lesson to learn here? Five things we are going to learn from this verse. Five things we are to learn. Number one. If God could make grass to grow on the mountain, there is nothing he can 
cannot do for you. He can do the undo for you. If God could make grass to grow on the mountain, then nothing is difficult for him to do. Nothing is difficult. If your own is a child and they said you have a fight, brother, I want to remind you of this scripture. If the God will serve is the God that make grass to grow on the mountain, it means that God can make you have a child. It does break the fight, brother. If God could make mountains to the grass to grow on the mountain, it actually means also it doesn't matter the environment where you are. God can make things happen for you. Somebody is listening to me right now. I want to prophesy and declare to your life that in the name that's above every name, that something is about to happen. Whatever seems hard is about to become easy. In Genesis 18, verse number 14, Genesis 18, verse number 14, God asked the question, is there anything too hard for me to do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? In other words, my grass growing on the mountain is a proof that nothing is hard for God to do. Nothing is hard for God to do. So I am here to announce to somebody, you may be in a tight corner, in a mountain level. It's a sin that nothing can happen. I prophesy to you that if grass could grow on the mountain, you are about to break forth. You are about to do well. You are about to excel. You are about to succeed. You are about to increase. In the name of Jesus. That's the first thing to understand. The second thing that we need, we need to learn from that verse. If God could make grass to grow on a mountain, what does that mean to us? It means that nothing can stop God from doing what he wants to do for you. Nothing can stop God. If the hardness of the mountain can stop the grass from growing <laughs> then the hardness of the economy cannot stop God from doing what you want to do the hardness of your background the strongness of your background cannot stop God some of you came from a background where nobody succeed I feel the Holy Ghost some of you came from a lineage where nobody makes it in life where nobody do well in life where nobody excel in life God sent me to let you know that if Mount if grass don't could grow on the mountain he's simply letting you know that nothing can stop you not your background not any weak not any wizard not any strong man not any power not any force if God could make grass don't grow on the mountain nothing can stop him nothing can stop him from succeeding somebody is hearing me this evening it seems as if you came from a background that nothing seems to work it seems as if you came from a place where there is a strong man God sent me to let you know that in the name that is above every name that nothing will stop you you will still succeed you will still succeed you will rule in the midst of your enemies you will rule in the midst of your enemies you will still carry your children in the midst of your enemy. you will still go far in the midst of your enemy. you will still do well in the midst of your enemy. why? the God we shall is the God that made grass to grow on a mountain a koto a rekopa Isaiah 40 verse 13 is what confirmed that Isaiah 40 verse 13 who can direct the Lord who can cancel the Lord nobody can stop him nobody can hold him nobody can hinder him he's like a wind that moves in the wind God is like a wind that moves in the wind nothing stops him nothing holds him nothing hinders him he's unbreakable unstoppable unmolestable our God is undiable death cannot stop him man cannot stop him if you hurt him he kill you if you love him he bless you if somebody decide not to like him he will kill the person if you get the lawyer he will kill the lawyer 
If you take him to a court, he will win the case and still bury him. Nobody can question him. Nobody can query him. Do you know why he's God over himself? His ability cannot be compared. His strength is unendable. His grace is unendable. Somebody is listening to me now. It's a sin that is a man somewhere who said that life cannot amount to well. It's a sin that someone somewhere who has found that your destiny can't go far. I want to let you know, based on the scripture that we have read, in Mount Grass, to grow on the mountain, you can still succeed in that fire. That's the second thing to learn. The third thing that we must learn from that scripture is that if God could make mountains to grow, it means if God could make grass to grow on a mountain, I beg your pardon. It means no matter where you are, you can still succeed. <laughs> no matter the environment where you are, someone may tell me, I, I am not living in a good city. That's why I'm not making it. Someone may tell me, you don't to travel abroad before you can become a known person. You can be where you are and God can bless you. Why? The God who can make grass to grow on the mountain can make you succeed anywhere. Let them put you in the wilderness. You still succeed just like David. Let them put you in the river. You are still making it. Do you know what God said in this world? He said when you pass through the water, I will be with you. When you pass through the river, I will be with you. He's not only talking about problem. He's talking about location. 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 When you are in the night in the country, the way nothing works. He said I am there to make things work. If I could make grass to grow on the mountain, there is no other place you cannot succeed. They can put you in the backside of the you can still succeed. Your shop may be the hidden shop. You can still succeed. I don't care where you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care where you came from. Your environment is not the determination for your success. Your environment is not the determination for your success. It is God that makes you succeed. He said to Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, He said, we are not at the soul of your feet shall step in. I am giving it to you. What does that mean to all? Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, you are meant to succeed. Shout yes. That's the third thing to learn. If God could make mountains to grow, <laughs> it means no environment can be a problem to you. Number two, number four. What is the lesson to learn from that scripture? <laughs> if God could make mountains to grow, make grass to grow on a mountain, it means that there is nothing impossible that he can make possible. If God could make grass to grow on a mountain, it means there is nothing impossible that he cannot make possible. I don't know who, 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 who God has sent me to. There is nothing God cannot make possible. He can make the vision of your life possible. That vision you have to build estate, to open a company, to do this, to do that. It doesn't matter how impossible it is. If God could make grass to grow on the mountain, it means there is nothing we cannot make possible. We can make your dream possible. We can make your vision possible. We can make your plan possible. We can make your millions possible. We can make your fruitfulness possible. We can make your desire possible. He can make it possible. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. For with man it is impossible. But with God all things are possible. Ale kota iko ete rota bara shane ruse mia kota na pa lete kete kote kapada le sakusha rate filada iko na kama korosa. Who am I speaking to? Who am I talking to? Are you with me in the realm of the spirit? God sent me to tell you. It doesn't matter where you are, where you, what is happening. It doesn't. 
number five what is the lesson to learn from that scripture I feel the Holy Ghost I feel the Holy Ghost if God could make crap to grow on the mountain I mean what does that mean? He made grass to grow on a mountain. It means that God can raise you no matter how damn you are. He can raise you. If God can make grass to spread out on a mountain, on a mountain. Remember the first explanation I gave. The mountain is a hard ground. Mountain is a thick ground for anything to grow. And yet the Bible said that the God, that God make it grass to grow on a mountain. If God can make, can make, can make grass to spring out of a mountain. It means it doesn't matter how down you are, he can raise you up. <laughs> it doesn't matter how down your finance is, he can raise it up. It doesn't matter how down your family is, he can raise it up. It doesn't matter how your destiny is oh God of mercy oh God of mercy one thing I have seen in this church one thing I have seen the grace of God do here he has raised people who are on the ground and they are coming up they are coming up uh, they are coming up they are just coming up he has seen people people who might see God raising I'm wondering these are people I know that when they started this church they are just like any hand today they are growing up that is what God can do. He's the one that makes grass to grow. He can make you rise. It doesn't matter how bad you are. Somebody, this is your prophecy. As this 40 days program is ended, you will discover that you are rising. Where you are, the level you are now is not the level you will be by next two weeks. The level you are financially, spiritually, physically is not the level you will be the next one more I declare a rising up.
This one is that grass was growing on the mountain. Jesus only that bread was growing on the bread. Bread was growing inside bread. Fish was multiplying. Fish was giving birth to fish inside fish. Why is inside that basket? <laughs> some people have not even seen that kind of raw miracle before. <laughs> yes. That's why that some of you who don't have that kind of mindset. Bread was growing inside bread. I remember the story of uh, uh, Apostle Baba, Joseph Babalola. They had the wife was cooking and something like that. And there was nothing. And God instructed that the woman should not look inside the pot for soup. She should not look inside the pot. So any day, any time the woman is to bring her soup, the woman will be looking up and take soup and with meat for days, for weeks. The day the woman looked down, the thing ceased. <laughs> there is a God that makes money to grow inside money. Money doesn't have to finish before another one comes. Money can grow inside money. Don't punish the devil. There is a God that makes building grow inside building. You are living in one room and you build two rooms. Living in two rooms and you build estate. It makes it for grow. Just learn how to give him praise. Just learn how to worship him. If you can worship him, you will see his wonder. If you can worship him, you will see multiplication. He made it come to grow on the mountain. And you can hear no shabbat. He made it come to grow on the mountain. Number two, what do you do? First is to praise him. Second is to exercise or get faith. Second, exercise or get faith. Your rent has expired. Oh, but how will you pay? <laughs> the money is available. No problem. I'll pay. That is the get faith. Not uh, sad is sad. <laughs> I don't know how I will cope. I don't know what will happen to you. No, that's not faith. Yes, you have to pay this money by next week. No problem. Next week will come out pay. Are you sure? Sir, let next week appear. That is rocket faith. That is rocket faith. And it happened even with Jesus. In John chapter 11. If you start reading downwards from the swan, the story of Lazarus. Jesus came. Mary and Martha met with him. And said, if you have been here, I'm right when I die. He said, okay, no problem. Show me where you are living. Excuse me. This man is down for four days in the grave. You said, we should point to you where. Show me there. In verse 40, he said to, to them, if that can't believe, that we see the glory of God. Show me where you are living. Remove the stone. Excuse me. By now he's thinking, I said remove the stone. That is audacity. That is audacity. Audacity where you take your wife, take this money, go to market, and go and buy baby boy's things for me. Buy it and keep it. We know not try. That's not your business. You are not the maker. The one who made grass to grow. Despite your five brother and despite my low span time, God can create children out of it. He doesn't. If God could give Mary a child, even with that, with that, with that Mary and Joseph meeting, he can bring children out of out of five brother. Where five brother comes to find boy. I am the quarter satan. Rotate first. That shot that nothing is working. Step up there. And speak a word yet. I see customer coming. I see things happening. Rocket faith. Believing God in the midst of hard time is rocket faith. Speaking positive words in the midst of negative appearance, it is rocket faith. Stop speaking what you see. Start speaking what you want to see. That is faith. Don't say things happen around you. Things are not going well. Everywhere is hard. Start saying things. 
said unto the righteous, it shall be well. And the other day, Elisha sent his servant to go and meet the woman whose child died. He said, is it well? The woman said, in the midst of all danger, it is well. Even though it is not well, that pronouncement, that convention made life to an eye. But if somebody listening to me, I am here to let you know, don't give up. He that keepeth Israel never sleeps nor slumber. Even though he dies, wait for it. It will surely come to pass. Can we go ahead and give him worship? Oh, let's go ahead and give him praise. Alabarakasa, somebody worship him. Arokete Baha, Ilabarata. I want us to take two, three prayers. Then we step into worship and land up. Oh God, that make that grass to grow in the mountain. Arise, do wonders that will surprise me. Do something that will surprise me. Open your mouth and make it your prayer. You are the God that make grass to grow. You are the God that make fish to grow out of fish. Do something in my life that will surprise me. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost like a rocket fire. Oh, you prove 
in your sight, in my life, and I've come to realize you're too late to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me. Jesus, you are too faithful to disappoint me.